everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have the new Studio Calico kits and today is July 1st, 2024. I do not have the add-on stamp sets, but I do have the kits, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, so this is the new subscription stamp set and I know it looks very boxy and there's not much going on, but I'm hoping to share it today and use it today. It's such a fun little stamp set. You can kind of build off the stamp set. So basically you'll stamp one of the boxes and then you can see here that they have little lines. And so you can kind of connect them with the lines. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait to use it, but this is the subscription stamp set. Because I do not have the add-on stamp sets, we're just gonna jump right into the kit and I'm so excited to check this out with you. I held back and I didn't open it so I can open it with you and uh, on camera. This is their anniversary kit. So that's gonna be fun to check out. So I'm gonna pull everything out of the packaging and then we're gonna take a look at the new kits. Okay, let's get started. Um, I do wanna apologize if there's any background noise. They are paving our road for weeks now, not weeks, well days, I'm exaggerating, but it's so annoying and this is literally the only time I can film. So anyways, let's start. I love the washi tape and I'm excited that we got washi tape this month. I'm trying to find it, there we go. Um, it is very simple, it's cute, and it's gonna be perfect for all kinds of projects. So you have the thumbs up, thumbs down, noted, currently, good time, loving this that is so so fun i am excited for the slim washi the simple slim washi anyways so we got some washi tape there some note pads and so you have the circle with the grid and then you have like a tab looking one some sticker sheets and their banners with numbers Really loving the color. It kind of looks like vintage-y almost or retro. The chipboard is fun and simple. So you have kind of labels, tags, things like that. Love the colors on those. We also do get some acetates and there's like, I can't, let's see. Yeah, that way you can see them. So you have some strawberries, some lemons, two of each. We have a lot of leaves here and some cherries, oranges. Oh, I really like this one. These are cute. I love those. Actually, these are perfect for summer. So we have some um, acetates and then we have the yellow alphas, really pretty yellow. Let's take a look at our paper. So we have the four by sixes and that's the pattern. Currently, there's four by sixes. Oh, I love that. That looks like my Scrappy Spiral notebook style. What the heck? That's so fun. I might even put this in my Scrappy Spiral notebook. So we have the boxes, very similar to my Scrappy Spiral notebook. Tell them you love them. So pretty. Love the simple pattern. Love that. That's a fun four by six, three by fours. Is it the weekend yet? Loving that purple. Pattern the back. Oh, that watermelon is so cute. Oh, and that's beautiful too. That one would be fun to use in my Scrappy Spiral notebook. Some more three by fours. Love that pattern. I think I'm gonna be using that instead of the three by fours. Some more three by fours on the schedule. So what I'm getting out of the anniversary kit is there's some cards here that they pulled out of some older kits. So some of them look familiar. So I'm guessing that's what it is. Yeah, I remember that one. I feel like, yeah, I've seen this one before in one of their kits. I've been with Studio Calico for a very long time. I think since, and that one's a repeat. I 
feel like I've seen that or I've had or used it basically. And that one too. So it's like a little anniversary of all their older cards and patterns, which is pretty fun. And like I said, I've been with Studio Calico since 2012. So I remember some of these patterns and cards. Really pretty, really excited for those. Uh, and these are the cut apart sheets. I really like the colors. They're like summer yet like fallish colors or like muted colors that I enjoy. So I'm excited to use this. Let's get to it. I think I want to put together a layout either in my traveler's notebook or in my scrappy spiral notebook, but I'm going to set these aside, decide what I'm going to work in and share the process with you. So let's get to okay, it. Okay, let's start working in my traveler's notebook. So for this layout, I went with a large four by eight photo of me by the pool. For the opposite side, I wanted to go through my kit and choose a very subtle pattern paper. I always like to start with a base. So basically I grabbed two grid papers to back up my photo and my pattern paper. And the reason behind that is because I'm gonna have to trim down this pattern paper. And because the pattern paper was six by eight, it's slightly smaller than my traveler's notebook pages. And that's why I like to back them up with just plain paper. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and stick everything down. And then we're gonna start prettying up my layout. So I really wanted to use the new subscription stamp set, especially that it was the only stamp set that I got from Studio Calico this month. So I am gonna set it aside and actually start with something to base my mind map off. Yes, you heard me right. I'm gonna do a mind map and the stamp set is gonna be perfect for that. What I wanted to do was use that really pretty grapefruit acetate as my base and I think that's a grapefruit by the way um, so I will build off of that so my mind map starts there I'm going to connect my stamp with that and then every time I stamp out a circle or a box from my stamp set I'm going to fill it out with something cute the first box is going to be for my journaling so I'll do that later but this next box I thought I would use one of the embellishments from the kits so I decided to look at the cut apart sheet first and when I was going through them I saw this hello summer it was pink it matched but it was a little bit too big for my box and honestly I didn't really care I felt like it just matched well and I had to use it on the spread so I end up going with it. Now I did think of using a pen and giving it a black outline like the rest of the boxes but I just thought I didn't really need it. It did stand out so I might go back in. I'm not sure you guys let me know if I should add a black outline or not but for now I just leave it as is. I'm also going to stamp a large circle and one of the smaller circles that has a heart as well. And for the large circle, I'm just going to use this little sticker from the sticker sheet to fill that in. It's pink, it fits, it matches. So I'm going for it. Now I can kind of build a little bit off of what I already have. I'm just going through the stamp set, adding little things here and there. I think this box I added yes and no. I also used a chipboard to bring in dimension to my mind map. And I'm going to stamp out another box and fill that in with my alpha stickers. I know I want to use the alpha stickers for my title and I will end up adding a title to my photo. But to bring in some of the yellow to this side of my spread, I decided to use the ampersand and just stamp right underneath it here so it just says and here for my last box I decided to go back to my cut apart sheet and trim out one of these labels and kind of fill in my last box with this label. But the box is really big and it's going to fall off the edge of my layout. So what I decide to do is I'm going to cover up a little bit from the box, ink it up, remove the tape, 
And that way I have a smaller box and all I have to do is fill in that last line to shorten the box, if that makes sense. And it worked out perfectly. And so I always recommend this. If you have something in mind, don't think that it's the end of the world. If it doesn't fit, you can always cover it up with some tape, ink it up, remove the tape and make it fit. Anyways, I do want to add a title with my yellow alpha stickers to my photo. So I'm just going to spell out relax. I'm just using my ruler here. So I make sure that it fits and it's in the center. And once I have all my letters on my ruler, I just go ahead and stick that down. At this point, I'm thinking I'm done with my layout, but I noticed that my chipboard's empty and I forgot to add something in there. So what I'm going to end up doing is grabbing one of the smaller circles. It had some words in there. I can't remember what the words were. But I just wanted the words, not the circle. So what I end up doing is inking up the whole stamp, I'll grab my absorber and remove the black ink from the circle outline. That way I just have the words and I can stamp them right in the center of my chipboard. It looked really good. I was really worried that I would have the residue of the circle, but I didn't. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to call my layout done. Don't forget, I'm going to be adding all the links for everything I shared down in the description description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!